Let's continue studying the symmetries of Pascal's triangle using combinatorial arguments. And uh, you remember Jim? Well, here's Jim. Jim is going to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's n of these. Jim's going to count them. Uh, he's going to choose k of them. And he counts in a very straightforward way, like we saw last time, and k. That's how many ways. That's Jim's approach. Bob, Bob, of course, has to be different. All right. Bob's mind is a lot more complicated, as you'll see. He separates these objects into two groups. You got one special here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have n minus one. This is the rest. Okay. So there's one special object, and then you have all the rest of them. So now we have different options. For, we can choose one from here, or none from here, and the rest from the rest, and so on. All right, let's see what we can do. Well, I can choose from one special object. I can choose nothing. And then I have to choose all k from the, the rest. So from n minus 1, I choose k. Okay. Or I can choose 1 from the special object. And from the rest, choose k minus 1. I chose 1 here. I got to choose k minus 1 there. Now, another way to look at this is to use this correspondence that's very interesting and corresponds to multiplication and or corresponds to addition. Now let's let's try to read this through here. Choose choose none none from specials. Okay. And choose choose k from rest. That's this term here. Or, or choose one from special and choose k minus one from rest. You see? So, and corresponds to multiplication or corresponds to addition. It's a very interesting principle. We'll look at it more later and we can read it off here choose zero from special and choose k from the rest or choose one from special and choose k minus one from the rest and so Jim and Bob are counting the same thing they end up with this beautiful formula that we saw last time we saw this in the last video but here we have this added finesse that I want to keep. This here. Okay. Let's, this looks a lot like a vector product, so let's write it as a vector product. 1, 0, comma, 1, 1, vector dot product, and minus 1, k, comma, and minus 1, k minus 1. Okay, that's very nice. However, this is not the way it appears in Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle has this first and then this. You see, it has k and k minus 1 comes before, see, in Pascal's triangle. If I draw some elements of Pascal's triangle, this is k and the k minus 1 uh, column is, is, goes this way, right? This smaller than k goes this way. So I want to reverse this. So let me write it in a novel way using a funny notation. You might like this. I like this notation. Comma n minus 1k. Uh, now I'll put an r here for reversed. Reversed. So it's very beautiful. It's the dot product of this with this reversed. Okay. Let, let's try to visualize this using Pascal's triangle. Let's see how far we can get. Try to make it real, so to speak. Okay, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Okay, 
So let's say we want to compute this one here. That's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 6, 4. Well, I will take these two. Okay, that's here. This is uh, 5, 3 and 5, 4. That's these two here. Reverse them. And I have to dot product with this row that's up here. Now you start to see the light here. You see the pattern. It's quite beautiful. Look, 1, 1, dot product with 10, 5, reverse. That's 15. Now, okay, you're thinking, why do I need to reverse this? It's always going to be the same thing, right? Like, it doesn't matter if I reverse it or if I don't reverse it. But actually, it does matter if you reverse or don't reverse. Okay, if we go a little bit deeper, you'll see that uh, indeed it does matter. So let's maybe let's do one more example and then let's go a little bit deeper into this. One, 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 two, one. Make that look better. One, 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 one two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. There, let's try this one. Mm, this one here. Okay, that's going to be this, reverse, dot product with this. That's the meaning of this identity that we discovered, that Jim and Bob discovered. So let's try that. So 1, 1, dot product with 4, 6, reversed. And we get 6 times 1 plus 4 times 1, that's 10. That's correct. Very beautiful. Now I'm going to show you why we need to be careful about this. Why we need to reverse this. Okay. Why we need to you know, never forget about that. So let me make some room here. Erase. see how how does that work why why is that important well you're going to see now okay let's look at this again we have one special and then the rest five six seven eight nine and minus one and we're going to choose k from this choose choose k from all of this Okay, we're going to choose K from all this stuff. So I can do, uh, I can choose zero from the specials, and then here is N minus one K, or I can choose one from the specials, N minus one K minus one, or I can choose two from the specials. You say, oh no, I can't do that. I only have one special. How can I choose two? It's easy. I can choose two from this. The answer is zero ways to choose two. Sure, no problem. K minus 2, and I can keep going and going and going. In fact, I can go all the way down to 1K times N minus 1, 0, finally. K minus K is 0. And then keep going, keep going, keep going. So, let me write this as a vector. Well, as a vector, this is 1, 0, 1, 1, dot, dot, dot. Okay, and uh, I can keep going here, but I want to write it in the way it appears in Pascal's triangle, so I have to reverse all of this, dot, 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 and then here, n minus 1, k minus 1, finally, n minus 1, k. That's how it appears in Pascal's triangle. There we go. Hmm. And this is nk. All right, this you say, wow, that's pretty amazing. So if I extend this row in this direction, I have to extend this row in this direction. See that? The dots are here, dots are here. And it's hard to imagine this, so let's try an example. One, two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one, five, ten, ten, five, one, one. 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. All right, let's, <clears throat> let's try this one here. 
That's the sum of this. But now I'm going to extend this to the left. Let's extend it to the left by three elements. And here I have to extend this row to the right by three elements. Two, three, like this. And don't forget reverse. Let's see, does that work? We want to do one, one, zero, zero, zero. And now let's reverse this. Five, ten. 10, 5, 1. Let's dot product everything. I get 5 plus 10 is 15. That's correct. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? So I can extend. You see, I can extend it in any direction. In fact, if I want to add two more zeros, sure, no problem. I can add two more zeros here too. Don't forget to reverse. Take the dot product of these two things and you get the answer, 15. You get what you're looking for here. So we have greatly extended the meaning of the usual way of constructing Pascal's triangle. Usually we just take these two, these two and add them and create the one below. But we see that that's just uh, kind of a special case of a much broader idea. Okay. All right, let, let's do it the other way. If we can extend this way, if we can extend with zeros this way and this way, or, or numbers this way, why not the other way? Okay, so let, let's erase. I'm going to start over again. I'll show you how that works. And again, you have to respect the reverse, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay. All right, let's try. Let's start over here now. Here I'm going to choose 1. I can choose 1 from the special and then from n minus 1 I choose k minus 1. And then here I choose none and I choose all my choices from the rest. And then I go backwards. Well, how can I go backwards? Well, I have to choose k plus 1. But I, I can't choose k plus 1. I only have k choices. Well, yeah, well, I have to do this. You see, that's impossible. I can't do that. Yes, you can. All the elements in below zero in this direction in Pascal's triangle are all zero. So no problem. You can do it. K plus 2. Uh, and here, 1 minus 2. Dot, dot, dot. Great. Now I can write this as a uh, product again. All right. So it's dot, 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 and from this direction, 1 minus 1, and then uh, 1, 0, and then comma, 1, 1, like that, dot, with dot, dot, dot. Okay, let's, let's put this all together. I have n minus 1, k plus 1, n minus 1, k n minus 1, k minus 1. Now that's not the order it appears in, in Pascal's triangle, so let's put it in the right order by reversing this. And I get this product. Okay. 1, 0, comma, 1, 1, dot, okay. n minus 1, k mi minus 1, n minus 1, k, comma, n minus 1, k plus 1, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and reverse this. Let's visualize this. Let's try it out. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. All right, let's try this one. Okay, that's going to be these two elements added together, uh, reversed dot product with that vector here. But I want to extend this in the in the left direction let's let's put three three zeros here so I'm going to take three numbers here I've got extended with two zeros this way in this direction you see like that does that work well let's try it so zero 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 one one and reverse this I get zero zero one four six add, add it all together I get four plus six that's ten Yes, it does work. <laughs> Do you like that? Isn't that amazing? I mean, I think it's amazing. And now, uh, let's put it all together. I mean, why can't I just uh, extend both directions? I should be able to extend this way uh, and this way. 
and this way all directions. So I'm going to write one final formula for you to think about before we go on to the next video. I'm going to write one more of these. It's a tremendous idea when you think about it. But you know, you have to do a lot of examples with this, otherwise it's, it's hard to imagine, you know. Okay, one, zero, comma, one, one, uh, all the way. As many as you like here, as many terms as you like here, and we'll dot product with this. I'm going to reverse the rows already. K minus one, comma, N minus one, K, dot, 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 like that. There. Amazing formula for NK. Okay, let's try to get the whole thing in there. Very beautiful, amazing formula. And it looks really complicated, but it's not that hard to visualize. Let's try it. One, two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, one, four, six, four, one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. Let's try this one. I'm going to create this from here. Now I'm going to extend it by two here, and I'm going to extend it by three over here. So I got to reverse that. I've got, I've got to extend by two on this side and extend by three on this side. Okay, now hopefully I did all of this right. So I'm going to dot product. I'm going to dot product this times the reverse of this. Okay, let's do that. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, four, six, four, one, zero, zero. This is all zero. I get here four plus one, that's five. It works. Totally amazing. It brings the usual Pascal triangle formula to a new level. You know, it's uh, the usual Pascal triangle generation formula that everybody knows is like n minus 1k minus 1 plus n minus 1k. Okay, that's great, but there's a lot more to it. As you can see here, this is, this is that formula in its full glory. Okay, with these amazing symmetries. I encourage you to practice them. Take any, any rows, extend them any which way and, and do the dot product and see that it's true. It works. These two, you get, uh, you get the right answer. All right, in the next video we're going to examine what happens when we have two or more special objects. See you then.